Hey y'all, it's Zach, the legal tech advisor here at Lawyerist. And today I'd like to show you a little bit about task lists in Clio Manage. Now task lists are basically a collection of tasks that you can assign in bulk as you're working on a matter. These can be fired off at the creation of the matter or as you get to a specific point in the progress. So let's take a quick look. And here we are at the user dashboard in Clio Manage. I don't have a lot here because this is a test account, but you can see that there's a personal dashboard, a firm dashboard, and a firm feed. However, we're just concerned with the tasks category over here on the left, so we'll go ahead and click on that. And as you can see, I haven't created any tasks or had any tasks assigned to me, thankfully, because that would be weird. But we've got sections for upcoming, completed lists and feeds. So right now, we're just concerned with lists. So we'll click on that menu. And I've gone ahead and created a task list here called residential lease creation. But if you want to create a new one, you can just hit add up here and create a new task list. Once that task list is created, you can then add subtasks under that list. Now you can assign the, the list a practice area and mine is assigned landlord tenant right now, as you can see right here. And there are six tasks inside of this list. But we're gonna go ahead and drill down into there to see what it looks like. So as you can see, we've got the name, the basic description, the practice area, but here are the subtasks inside of this task list. And you can add a new one by clicking right here. The thing I will draw your attention to is that these are filtered by either the alphabetically by name, or assignee or priority or by permissions, they aren't filtered by due date. There's no filter here. And so if you wanna see them in order that they are to be completed, it is wise to put something like one, two, three, four, five, six in front of there. So it will set those in a particular order. Obviously you can use anything that has a ascending or descending categorization to it, but I usually just put numbers in front of it. We'll drill into one of these to show you a little bit about it. And what we've done is we've got the first task in this residential lease creation is send the questionnaire to client. We put a one in front of that, obviously, and we set it due in one calendar day after the assignment date. So once this task list is assigned, the send questionnaire to client will be due one calendar day after that. We really should probably make that zero. And so we'll go ahead and do that and save the task template. We could also create a reminder that's going to be sent as an email or something like that to whoever is assigned to this task, but we're not going to worry about that right now. So save task template. And this has been changed to due at assignment date instead of one day after assignment date. But what we're going to do now is we're actually going to add a task to this just to show you how easy that is. And we're gonna call this follow up with client. This is gonna be our follow up satisfaction survey. That we send to our client and we're gonna make it due in five, let's say business days after our last task here. So after we send the bill, we don't want to hammer them with a ton of things. We're not going to create a reminder. We're just going to use the list assignee. So this is whoever we've assigned the entire list to, but we could change this to anybody in the company. Um, a lot of times what I've done is I've, I've set this review lease portion as something for the attorney to take care of. And then the rest of this as whoever the assignee is. So we're going to save this task template. And I forgot to put the number in there. So we're gonna have to go back there and put the number seven and then save that task, task template, filter this. And then there's our, our template. So the way we use this, if we go into matters, we're gonna create a new matter over here on the right. 
And I've created a couple things in here just so we can, for ease of setting this up. So I've already got a client, but you could create a new contact here if you didn't. So we're going to use San Laurel. We're going to call this a residential lease. We're going to set the attorney for it. Give everybody permissions. Set it as landlord tenant. This is the practice area. I'm not concerned about any of this other stuff. Obviously, we can set the status, but these statuses, we can't create any more than just those statuses. So I'm not too concerned about those right now. We could add custom fields if we wanted to, which I likely would have done in a in a real residential lease creation sort of area, but we're not going to do that here. What I want to draw your attention to is the billing preferences. So this matter is billable. We'll set it as a flat fee. And I've already created a flat fee category called residential lease. And so that's going to go ahead and create that billable event once we set this new matter. But what we're more concerned with here is this task automation. We are going to find a task list, residential lease creation, and that is going to fire off right when I save this matter. So we're going to go ahead and hit save matter. We've successfully done it. We've got all these tasks in here and I'll show you a couple ways to get to that. But as you can see, we have this unbilled amount that was set for this client. And if I get in here under tasks, you can see all these individual tasks for this specific matter, the ones due today and the ones upcoming. But let's get out of this and let's go directly to tasks. And we can see that same thing, the upcoming tasks that are that are here. We can sort this by due this week. We can sort this by due today. Tomorrow, obviously, overdue. And we can also filter these by certain people. So as an attorney, you can come in here or as anybody, you can come in here and you can filter by particular users or assigned by and see all the tasks that are out there for somebody. So if you had multiple task lists that were that were running at the same time, you'd be able to see all these tasks that were assigned. So there we are, a relatively simple way to maintain consistent task assignment in Clio Manage. Obviously, there's a lot more to Clio, but I hope this helps. I hope you learned something, and I'll see you next time around the Lawyer's ecosystem.